Currently working on a holding tracks. This is a 2017 model and it's got the 1.4 engine in it. Has the engine management light coming on and coming off. And in this video, I'm gonna show you what that is now. Okay, so this is just gonna be a quick one. Engine light is now off, but I have done a scan and it showed up P1101 which is intake airflow performance. Now, what I always do with the likes of that code is go to the fuel trims and we start to assess what's going on. Long-term fuel trim here, started off at six and it's been heading up, got as high as 14, uh, or sorry, 13 at one stage and it's now evened back down again to 11, but still on the high side. And what that fault is related to is the evac bird valve. And with it disconnected there, we're gonna get some adjustments going on with the short-term fuel trims. Long-term is coming back down and it'll start to work out. With that uh, disconnected, that should be closed going to the manifold and it shouldn't be uh, causing any flow through there. When it's purging on and off, it's going into the manifold and with that uh, faulty, it can continue to flow in there, causing too much to go in. So what I'm gonna do is organize a EVA purge valve for that, and this problem, I suspect, will be rectified. Nice and simple quick fix. Okay, so just before I go on to the next section of this video and I show you the installation of a new purge solenoid control valve and the results I get after that, I just wanna kind of walk you through some of the information that can lead you to a quick diagnosis like I had in this video. Now, I did that diagnosis as quick as I showed it in it. The customer was waiting in the office and I have experience behind me when it comes to um, these EVAP systems on these vehicles failing. So what I always do is pull the fuel trims. Um, you can also get lean fault codes on, on this, so P0171, or if it's a um, like a Commodore, which I've had in the past as well, you might get P0174 as well. But a couple of things you can do to help diagnose this fall for yourself. You do have a couple of options. In this video, it was a P1101. Now, the telltale sign is the purge solenoid was making noise. When I hear a purge solenoid make a noise like this one was, I condemn it pretty much immediately, especially when I associate that with positive fuel trims afterwards. These valves, so you're aware of the operation, this is coming from the fuel tank, comes in here. This valve is meant to stay closed until it's commanded and then it opens and allows flow. And this is a one-way valve as well, allows flow through there into the inlet manifold. So a couple of tests you can do, as you've seen in the first part, I just disconnected it to see if this was sealing at all and was I getting a correct change that I would expect in the live data fuel trims, which it was. Now, the reason I was expecting that to happen is because it was taking two or three days before this code was flagging on. The customer said it was coming on and coming off and that gave me the information that I knew that this wasn't a complete failure. If this was a, if this was a complete failure, what you could do is you could disconnect it from this side, disconnect that, which should close this valve here, and then you should have absolutely nothing coming from this side. So leave this connected onto your inlet manifold, disconnect the electri electrical connector, engine running, disconnect this, and see if you have vacuum getting pulled through. If you do, you know that this valve is stuck open 
and it's running all the way through it. Now, I always like doing a binge test on these valves or on any purge solenoid valve it is a very quick and easy way to check it in this case the customer decided out of the information that i gave them that he didn't even want a binge test done didn't want to spend any more time on it was happy to get this valve stuck in so if you do want to do this test a vacuum gauge and you apply vacuum to this so i can just stick this straight in here and then I would apply vacuum. Now, if this was a complete failure, that would just go straight down to zero. But I am well aware in this case that this one is able to seat inside in this to some degree, but it's not a complete seal. So the pressure will be losing in there. It'll be sticking, coming on and coming off, and that is where the fault is. Now, what I'm going to show you in another one, and you can just kind of see that it's gradually going down. That should be holding vacuum there. There shouldn't be any drop. And as you can imagine, that will be losing more and more as time goes on. And that shows that there is a leak coming through. But what I also have here is a complete failure that I've diagnosed before and I've kept the valve so I would be able to demonstrate it. So again, same test, apply vacuum and absolutely nothing because this one has completely failed and it's stuck open. The seal is damaged inside. Now if I put my finger on this end, you can see how it can generate vacuum. Now the other test I'm just going to set up here is commanding the solenoid on when you have a vacuum applied and then you're going to see if it's capable of letting the pressure release through. So I apply vacuum on here. I've just using the battery out of one of my electrical tools to show this. So I've hooked up positive and negative is on there and if you look at the gauge when I click you should hear a click and then the gauge should release and that's showing you that that valve internally here is creating a seat when it's being commanded it is opening and the pressure is getting released there and that is pretty much on how you can test a purge solenoid control valve. You have lots of options there using the live data on the scan tool, using quick and simple tests by disconnecting a pipe here, removing the electrical connector so it closes and then again reading the live data. Knowing the operation of the system obviously is key. You can command this on and off as well using a scan tool or remove it and completely binge test it and see if it's capable of holding vacuum internally. There is little seals in there that fails so if you have a sticking one or a partially leaking one it's not going to show up very easily um, without doing the likes of a binge test on them but very easy part to remove and install. In this case installation all you have to do is squeeze these two clips together and pull that pipe up. This just sits into a bracket on this side. This little connector here, pull tab and push and remove and the electrical connector is the same. Very, very quick and easy item and it was a genuine one that I used in this case and all was installed. Okay, so I've just pretty much finished the final road test on this now. Purge solenoid control valve has been installed. Pretty straightforward installation. And I have um, been monitoring the live data, cleared the codes, and everything is showing up to be okay. 
just down here on the fuel trims monitoring the short and long term um, when you compare it to the initial uh, investigation that was done you can see how the fuel trim range is nicely within the spec again so if you have this type of fault doing these quick type investigation checks can lead you right to the uh, root of the problem and cause you to diagnose it nice and quickly i really hope you enjoyed this video hope you found it useful and informative if you did please like share comment and subscribe and I hope to see you next one. Thanks for watching.